Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today I've done this look using the Too Faced Hot Butter Rum and the Melted Matte, and I believe this is called Gingerbread Girls. So this is one of the new holiday collections for 2019. I'm just gonna go through a little bit of it and kind of give you some of my thoughts and we're gonna go from there. So do you need this in your arsenal for the holidays? Or is this a great gift for you to give for the holidays? I started out using the Gingerbread Girl lipstick and it is in the Melted Matte. I love the fact that it really doesn't kiss off. I have just a little bit around the edges so for whatever reason that didn't dry down next i went into the eye palette and this palette when you open it up looks amazing gorgeous this is fantastic for fall so if you're going to pick this up i would go ahead and do that now in october so you have plenty of time in october and november to create several fall looks i used several of the colors today because I wanted to see how do they blend? How do they go on? What's my thoughts? Well, what are my thoughts? Here we go. I freaking love this palette. I'll tell you, the colors in here are gorgeous, like I mentioned for fall. Love the fact that it is tiny. So if you go to work and you need to touch up after work for, let's say, an event, this is going to slide right nicely in your purse without taking up a lot of space the other thing i like about this is it's got several mattes and then some shimmers so it gives you kind of a balance of 50 50 and the way that they balance the 50 50 i thought was pretty awesome so you have this color here this color here this one and this one that are mattes and those are powerful matte colors to be able to use all over your eye as far as the shimmers go as you age, shimmers aren't as easy to use. You may just want to add that a little bit on your eye. My sister-in-law were talking about someone on TV that she saw that was probably in her 40s and used shimmer all the way up to her eyebrow bone and how much that showed her age. So for us aging women, these shimmers that they put in are lighter so you can use them on your eyelid maybe up underneath your brow bone but mix it with the matte so you get a good balance for an aging eye for you ladies and gentlemen that have young non-wrinkled eyes i'm kind of jealous kind of jealous i miss those days but what i like about this palette also it doesn't make my eyes water so the first thing i did was turn it over because i was trying to figure out where it was made so it was bulk made in the usa which is typically the eyeshadows i don't have problems with for the most part if you guys have watched some of my other videos i can almost tell when a palette is not made in america because my eyes immediately start watering i don't know if there's a different chemical a different ingredient that they use in china that maybe we don't use in the united states but I can typically always tell when a palette is made outside the United States. So I didn't peek. This one says bulk made in the USA. Um, and then it looks like that it may have been assembled in the Dominican Republic. So I have no problems with the setup on the eyes. My eyes are not watering. I love the colors for fall. The yellow and the brown, I kind of smoked it out underneath the eye. Absolutely love that. Um, I used some of the shimmers on the inside of the eye. The shimmers, again, are great colors to go with the mattes. Absolutely love the matte combination. I almost used a lot of yellow on the top. And for some of you guys that have watched my other videos, I really, really love yellow. So the fact that I only kind of smoked it out on the lower lash line actually shocked me. I went outside my comfort zone because normally I like doing yellow all over the lid. But I love how these blended so well, so easy. They're not patchy at all. As you're putting them on, they're pigmented. They blend amazing. The formula is off the hook. So for me, I give this palette a perfect 10 out of 10. I have put this in my basket, so now I'm ready to purchase. I do think you need this one in 
your arsenal. I just think this is a great palette. It's not very expensive. If I'm not mistaken, it's under $30. So again, for a gift, the palette is fantastic. It's very budget friendly. If you want it for yourself, again, budget friendly. And I think you can get so many looks for fall just with this palette alone. I'm fully excited about this palette. All right, so I hope you did enjoy this video. I hope you love all of the colors for fall that you are inspired to create some beautiful looks. This is absolutely fantastic. Love, love, love it. All right, I can't wait to hear your thoughts and opinions, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.